Christy, I think I've got this reverse mowing thing figured out. Yeah, really? Yeah, I've got a new kit for the 1025R. Oh, cool. I can't wait to see that. Yep. We're gonna make it a reverse mower. Really? Yeah, we're gonna make it mow in reverse, just like that big Ferrari. Okay. And I, the better thing is, it's a customer kit that if they'll bring their 1025R here, I can install it for a mere $10,000. Yep, I'll show you that next. Let's get started. We're gonna have some fun today, so if you don't have a sense of humor, don't leave a comment. Better yet, don't even watch the video, because if you do, you'll, the comment that you leave, I'm sure it will show that you've blown a gasket. And when I read that comment, I'll probably blow a gasket, and that'll leave oil all over the floor, so that just wouldn't be good. If you don't have a sense of humor, move on to the next video. Now, I've already got the reverser kit installed on this tractor. I'm not going to show you any installation because, well, that's proprietary information, and you might try to compete with me uh, for my $10,000 fee. So I won't show you any of that, but I will show you it in operation because I know you're going to want this. Now, this kit comes with a special option for Kubota owners. I know that you Kubota guys like to drive with your heel, so that's what we're going to be able to do here with this kit. I know you guys love that. And, you know, I'm just trying to cater to all of my customers. Whoops. Steering doesn't work so good sometimes. I'm, I'm trying to work that out. sweet corn at a time. And it keeps you back away from the dust. That way you don't have to get so much dust in the into your face all the time. So far I think it works great. the ergonomics on this kit could probably use a little bit of improvement, but this is the economy version for only $10,000 to convert any 1025R. If you want the, uh, you know, the, the, the higher end version, it's going to cost you a lot more. I'm excited to say that even the entry-level version of this kit comes with a heated seat, free. That's all included. You don't have to pay extra.
looks great. Yeah, I'd say on final review, the heated seat worked a little bit better than I had hoped. I never thought about that part. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think that might be great for a rear snowblower, I mean a front snowblower in the winter. But for the uh, summertime work, uh, the heated seat needs an off switch and I did not find that. I, I must have not installed that when I did the kit install. I have a little bit of ergonomics issues there. The pedals are just too much Kubota for me, a little bit too much of the heel. You looked a little awkward. What? Just saying. We're trying to sell product, Christy. Try to try to be upbeat here and not, not make negative comments. What's the actual product? It's the uh, reversible upgrade kit. All I saw was you sitting backwards on the hood. And I'm not even sure my legs would reach the pedals. What are you going to do about that? Don't you have something to do? No. <laughs> Torture you. <laughs> In all seriousness, We've tried to mow this in the past, driving over uh, with yeah. a flail mower and all other kinds of mowers, and all we do is knock down the corn. I had this Birba Maschio flail configured, reversible for the Ferrari, and so I thought, hey, why not put it on the 1025R and try it, see if we can go backwards, and then I got the brilliant idea of sitting on the hood. Yeah, that's where it goes. Don't send your tractor here for a $10,000 upgrade, which is nothing more than sitting me sitting on the, backwards on the hood, yeah. please. But do enjoy, have a chuckle. Christy got her corn patch mowed down. Yes, thank you. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. It smells like corn. Oh, see me, I bet I got sweaty bottom. Yeah, you do. Whoa, that was hot. I could hardly handle that last through. It probably wasn't even engineered to have a big wide bottom sitting on the hood, keeping it insulated. I don't think so. It got most everything. There's a few, you know, stalks left because of the, the rows, I think. But man, looks good. Yeah, this is about the best it's ever looked after we mowed it. Yeah.